victory is ours. Whoa, with our brimstone. Now, the journey continues with a silver adventure box. All right. Oh my god, I I almost completely <laughs> I almost forgot completely forgot I was recording there. Okay, so done. Right. Now we've got the 75. Uh, let's go back down to the waterfall here. Now that we don't have to throw the bomb, we shouldn't take any damage at all. There you go. We can just go through. Now we can go into the hole. Sorry, Mr. Shopkeeper. I'm looking for your brother that's underneath. And then we can buy this. And boom, we get up to 100. Look at that. Nice whole round number. I didn't, I did not plan that. That, is a, that did not have to come out that way. Okay, good. So there you go. The shop, in the shop, in the shop. All done. We're up to 100 baubles. And uh, we still need, though, about 125. And quite quickly at that, too. So let's really try and focus up and make sure we don't miss anything. I'm sure at some point, by the way, through this series... I'm going to miss something. I'm going to miss, like, one chest. I'm going to miss, like, one di di dig spot or one uh, side area that doesn't necessarily have anything in it. But it's kind of fun anyway. I'm just waiting for it. I'm waiting and watching the comments very closely for the person who leaves it and says, I don't want to be that guy, but you missed this. Like, it's it's just it's just going to happen. That's how, how much there is layered into SAB. And you'd have to be a real... I mean, the thing is that people get fanatical about this, right? So some people will become real, real experts. And they'll be able to point out the second line is something. Um, but yeah, so far, especially for this section, we definitely don't want to miss something. So that obviously wasn't worth anything. We got some baubles on top of that. Which would be pretty good. Uh, we could kill the, keep killing the monkeys. We might get a key. That might be a good idea. What about inside that, by the way? I don't see anything inside it. Uh, there's that one down there as well. Now, these leaves are a little bit scary as well. Also, oh, there you go. There's a bauble over there. And it's an orange one, so we'll get plenty from that. Let's kill this guy. Oh, God. We got coconuts being thrown at us. We got, we got a lot of monkey aggro right now. Get away from us, monkeys. Oh my god, there's two of them standing on top of one another there. What? That's so strange. Okay, we'll get you. We'll get you. There's a blue monkey over there. There's baubles on that. I mean, the small baubles I don't really care much about, but definitely this like little platforming section here. Let's see, is this a speed boost? It'd be really nice if this is a speed boost. Oh, it's a moon. Oh my god. Uh, see, look, 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 we get the moon, but it doesn't even do anything for us. It's okay that we... What? How is he still attacking? at us. Get away. Oh, I'm going to die unless I do this. We have to drink a potion here. I don't want to die. I don't want to go all the way back. Okay, so there. We get that. Oh my god, that jump does not look very friendly. Okay, we're good. Good <laughs> Jesus. Alright. <clears throat> so that's ten. Ow. Keep forgetting I can use the torch. Let's just burn that off. No, no, no. What? We're lit up. There you go. We can use a not torch candle. In case you're wondering why I'm getting hung up on my words so much about whether it's a torch or a candle, it's because there is a torch later in SAB when we get the real torch. Like, that's what uh, it, it's basically like an upgrade. Uh, that's what's throwing me off a little bit. Okay, so. Ow, what? Oh my god. He's going to catch us. All right, let's do that. And I guess we'll try and go into that shop over there. I think this is the one, though. Oh, no, we bumped our head. That's so awful. Oh, no, getting to that shop's going to be really annoying again now, isn't it? There's a ton of turtles here to help us out. What about up here? Can we... All right, this, this seems like a relatively safe-ish, maybe, path along the edge. But we do want to go into that shop. At least I think, oh, maybe, maybe that's an optional shop. Maybe because we've got so many upgrades, we don't even need that shop. I'm not going to hit that checkpoint because I don't want to push us too far forwards. Oh, we're out of potions already as well. Oh, that's the, that, that's the thing about this level, guys. You just take a lot of damage just being near the swampy waters. You're going to accidentally dip your toe once every now and then. And you just slowly get drained out. Like here, what can I do? Now, there is a trick. You can just keep jumping up and down while you're in the uh, the waters. And there's a chance you won't get hurt. But I think we're dead. Yep. Yeah. Down we go. There are also some places in the water that, like, don't count as a part of the detection for taking damage, as far as I know. And uh, you can quite reliably dip in and jump up and down very quickly, and you won't, uh, you won't get hurt too bad. So let's try that again now. Oh, crap. No! Why? Oh. Look, look, see, look, we didn't even take any damage on that one, though. We didn't take any damage. All right. Uh, instead of trying to salvage that, let's just go this way instead for a second. And there might be another route into that shop. 
there are actually two exits to this section of the zone. There's a checkpoint low down, as you can see there, and there's a checkpoint high up, as you can see there. There's both that are available. So I want to go to the higher one, because the higher one, we can hit that mushroom. Can we make that jump? You can make that jump. Some of these are getting really tricky, though. Um, we can hit that mushroom to like give us easy access between both. This could be a dodge jump situation, though. Oh, no, not... A oh, no, the monkey! Why? Oh, this is so bad right now. I'm going to actually lose my, lose my life here. Hold on. Climb back up. If I see that monkey again, I'm whipping it. I'm whipping it in the face, which is a particularly violent image, actually. All right, get that, get that. Where are you, monkey? All right, never mind. I'm going to bomb the monkey. This should work. Oh, so close. There? Yeah! Oh, suck it. That's so good. All right. Okay, and we made that as well. Oh, and he even dropped food for us. We get double hearts. Okay, so look, that's the shop. It looks like we might be able to climb up on the left, which is what I really care about. Um, breaking these, we can get more baubles. Nope, they both dropped food. There's a chest there. Which means maybe one of these creatures here will drop a key. Which would be excellent. Or, worst case scenario, that same shop we can buy the key. And yes, you have to spend some baubles on it, but you're probably going to get a lot more back from the chest itself. So he drops cheese. Another fan of the good... of the uh, Who's enjoying a wheel of the good stuff. Okay. Let's go up here. Down here. Okay. Knock that down. All right, so we got a route now. If we ever fall, we can use that to get back up straight away, which is excellent. That's the checkpoint at the end. We'll look at that later. Oh, see, exactly, exactly for this reason. Okay, look, look, look. It's, 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 it's easy, guys. All right, we got that sorted, so up. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, sorry. We, we, we got to do it twice in a row. Right. Um... How did I mess this up? How did I mess that jump up? That's such an easy jump. So we come here, and I'm guessing I can come up this ramp. Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh. And there we go. Okay, good. All right, five baubles at the entrance of the shop. Okay, he doesn't actually sell anything new. This is an optional shop, just like I thought it might be. But we can <laughs> loot his place. I love games like this where it feels like we're the villain in a weird way. Like, we're not just running through smashing and killing everything we see as we go. But we're actually even going as far as smashing pictures of the princess. Oh, here I messed up. Here I messed up because, basically, I needed to jump on that thing before breaking it to get up there to get the last couple of baubles. Oh, see, that's kind of tricksy of them. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's all right. I guess we ignore those. Now, I do want to buy the key, though, good sir. Can I buy your key, please? So, it costs 25. So, keys are expensive to buy. It's much better to get it from the creature in the area. But... In fact, I can almost guarantee, you know, if I kill one of these monkeys, we'll find that it drops the key. <laughs> oh, no, that leaf fell away. Oh, no, no, no. This is really bad because if I die in the swamp now, the key stays in the swamp. Oh, no, this is awful. I don't know whether I'm going to get all the way over there safely. I guess if we just try and go for the log. Hop, skip, jump. All right, we made it. Oh, no, even better. There's... What? What? Why? How? What? Oh, oh no, 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 the game over screen. All right, never mind then. That challenge fails. Fine, so we press F. We're going to use a continue coin. And we get to come back. Now, technically speaking, a continue coin is worth six lives. Because we've got the life that I'm currently living. And five in reserve. So five plus one, right? Uh, so, yes, it's really good using a continue coin because you get that extra buffer. Like, that's quite a lot better than... It's almost like the barrel killed us, which is so weird. Look, look, look. Oh, my God. I think you just take damage in the bottom of this. I think it just counts as poison, when it, even though it's not. Um, so, yeah, that's quite a lot better than just getting the two lives and getting kicked back. The other thing is, obviously, if I had got kicked back to the hub there on a full game over, this key we just bought 
that was waiting in the bottom of that thing. There we go. We'll get that. I should have bought more po more potions, but I kind of want to be a little bit frugal for a second, just until we get more stuff back. Uh, that would have, like, despawned completely. It would have been utterly wasted. So it would have cost us a ton of baubles plus uh, whatever else. So, yeah, last thing, we want to get that chest. So let's just quickly grab that. And I think, honestly, we've actually, even though it's been a bit messy, we've gotten out of this section of the level quite well. What knocked us off again? Was it a monkey? Oh, it was that one of the leaves broke, wasn't it? We went to kill a monkey. There you go. Look at that. So we get 40 from that. We're up to 154. That's brilliant, guys. That's actually really good. Okay. Um. Now is the simple matter of getting to the end again. Oh, look, look. We don't have to make that jump. There's just a mushroom here. Okay, excellent. We cleared this area really well. A couple more baubles sitting about on leaves, but not really too efficient to go for. So there you have it. And we'll take the top checkpoint. <clears throat> Voila. Which will trigger both. But because we hit this one, if we die in the next area now, we always come back to the top. And the top opens up access to a lot of other stuff. So, uh, as you can see, we can run on through. Many of these leaves fall as you land on them. In fact, all of them fall as you land on them. They will eventually respawn. Looking down on the ground, it just looks like there's a turtle there. Nothing else too major going on. So we don't have to worry about that. Moving along over here. I don't remember any secrets over there as well. Uh, so we could have kept going along the leaves. I guess I'll drop down. I thought that was a bauble there, but it was our mini spider. <gasps> oh my god, you look huge. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. We're going to die. It's okay, though, because we just hit a checkpoint and we just better continue coin. So it's not like there's any real risk. Yeah, I think uh, not much over there. Looking down on the ground again. We could use the crocodiles for the low route. <clears throat> We're actually, like, on a mi middle route here. All right, so here there's this, which I would love to be able to... Oh, God, we snapped really, really... Can I throw a bomb at that? Yes, I can. <gasps> Ow, did it work? Did it get knocked down? It did. Good, it grew. Cool. All right, so amazingly there, with that perfect bomb, we've created this so we can climb up. If I didn't create that, I don't think this route would have been available to us, and we would have had to have gone back to the checkpoint again. Um, but because of that, we can actually come inside this hollow shell. We can pick up baubles and a drumstick. So that's good. Really need the food. If you're going to play without potions, which a lot of people do. So one of the changes for 2018, just a bit more trivia for you all, is it used to be that whenever I press this stow button, whenever I like put my bombs away again, for some reason, I don't know why the devs did this. I don't know whether it was spaghetti code that then they just decided was cool and they left. But it used to be in previous years that this was sneakily a stun break as well. Which meant whenever you got pulled by something or later in the next world, you're going to see there's going to be all kind of rapids and waterfalls and stuff that we're messing about on. Whenever something like that happened, if you just spammed equip bomb, put bomb away uh, or any equivalent, you could stun break and you could just ch charge through things. Uh, and the devs allowed that, and that was fine. There was lots of speedrun tactics and things that came out of that. But this year, in 2018, they addressed it. And what they did was they stopped that being a stun break, because it was kind of weird behavior in the first place, I guess. They stopped that being a stun break, and now it's the potions that are the stun breaks. So in years past, very few people would actually buy potions, because continue coins... And they didn't really care if they died anyway. It just meant you went back. Oh my god, there's a bunny in this one. Yeah, we got, we got a, a big spot there. Um, so very few people would buy potions. And again, everybody's extremely frugal with their baubles. However, now the only way to stun break is with the potions. So I think that's actually a really good design from the devs. Um, it means that you look at all the items, you use all the items. And uh, it kind of works super well now. Uh, but yeah, that is, uh, that's actually the idea there. And now you'll find people use potions a lot more. And I do want to refresh my stocks here. So we got a lot going on, by the way. First of all, you'll notice a shop there. You see that? But the question is, how do you get to that shop? Because if you were to jump from, like, let's say over here, you might be able to make it. But how do you get over here? Well, it doesn't really seem very obvious, does it? Certainly not from all the way over there. It doesn't work. I promise, guys, it doesn't work. So that doesn't really work. So how do you get to that shop? Well, you might know. And the way forward's all the way over there, okay. Well, you might notice that down here, there's an alligator in that corner. Just a sneaky little alligator sitting over there. Let me uh, check something as well on the low route. 
Got these complicated ass zones here. Let me just check. Yeah, I think uh, there's another there's another secret. We're gonna go to that alligator in a second, but over here first, <clears throat> we do have a door. This is another furniture shop. This is probably one of the easier furniture shops. So first of all, it's a regular shop. Let's grab our baubles. We're up to 230 now. Doesn't look like too much. I'm gonna buy some potions though. I'm comfortable that we can spend some money on this. Our next upgrade costs about 220, I think. It might be 225. So as long as we're in that area, we'll be fine. We honestly got so much cash a second ago, it's, it's a bit nuts. There you go, six. I think that's fine. That, that, that's not, not a problem there at all. We could buy a key as well, but I don't really mind. Uh, uh, anyway, same situation, right? We burn the rug down. We uh, bomb the floor. You don't have to place it like this, by the way. It's a bit clunky and slow placing it like this. I don't know why they didn't just make it a different skill. But it's like you hold it down. And look, you uh, can come down here. I love this one because there's not a loading screen here. It's all the same room. The fact that there's not a loading screen means a ton to me. I really, really, really like that. Um, but yeah, look, there's an alligator down at the bottom looking left and right. It must be horrible us standing on his eyes like this, i got to say. But uh, he seems okay. And... Um, what you'll actually notice is, I, I mean, this has got to be a Banjo Kazooie reference, right? This has got to be a reference to. What, what is that level? You go into, you go inside someone's mouth, right, or something? Anyway, check it out. It's a bit like Shortcut Worm in here. Uh, we got loads of coins, and there's a there's a shop inside this dude. It's so weird and freaky and odd. And uh, oh my god, we died! <gasps> it insta killed us. I thought there would be two exits. I genuinely thought that'd be two exits. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, fine. Whatever. Let's go the low road. No, no, no. Let's not go the low road. Let's grab more bubbles. Oh no, I've messed it up already. Alright, we're gonna go the low road. Oh no, I've totally messed it up. Oh guys, this, this level is not going well. Alright, it's fine. Here, look. So, turtle. I guess we don't worry about him. Let's grab this. Grab this. Obviously, the, the, your instinct is gonna keep going to be to keep going forwards. Oh wait, no, it obviously it is, and that's the only way to go right now. So the shop was round on the right. Here we got this sneaky area. Was there anything there? I don't think so. Got a monkey. Just dodged the main ability. Oh, come on. I totally dodged the right ability. Oh, look, there's a super speed thing. There. Okay, uh, drink a potion. All right, and now, instead of going this way, we're gonna go left. We gotta be quick. We gotta attack, and then get off the lily pad before... Uh, it, it sinks, right? I think we might have failed that there. But look, there's a sneaky side area. And uh, our instinct would be to keep going forward, right? You keep going. You jump across this. Get onto this. This. This is actually quite a big area here. You've got a, uh, a barrel. Oh, invulnerability. Does that help us in the poison? Oh, it doesn't help us in the poison. Thanks, thanks for that, Arena Net. You'd totally expect that would help us in the poison. And then we grab this. And you keep going forwards to find the ultimate... Wait, hold on, what? We're just back in the regular area. Hmm. Well, so check it out. In the side passage, I don't even know if this is possible now. Yeah, it must be. I'm just going to get punished a little bit. More for me for trying to show it all off to you guys. But here, look. In the side passage, you do have these roots. And if I look up... Ooh. Easily missed. There is a hollow tree chunk up there. <clears throat> Gotta do our banana jump. Wait, where do we go? Is it, hmm, let's see, maybe it's on this. It's, it's probably on this, right? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe? Guys, it, yeah, this is totally where we need to be, all right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying. Is it just up there? Oh, it was such an easy jump. Okay, so we do that. Then we come over here. Pretty tricky. Uh, then, oh God, over there? Really? That looks really, really far away. I'll give it a shot, though. No, that's impossible. We can't make that jump. I need to drink a potion as well, because the poison is, is hurting us a little bit too much. All right, let's grab that. Nope, messed up again. Okay. Um. Oh, it's got to be over there. No, well, we came here already, didn't we? Oh, look. Oh, it's here. There we go. Sneaky. Okay, and finally we get up. Okay, so in the previous video, I or one of the videos, I said that the shortcut worm was possibly the biggest secret of when Super Adventure Books first came out. I might have been wrong. Maybe this is the biggest secret. This one's really, really difficult. Or, or of when it originally came out, I mean. Of World 1. Um, 
because yeah this is really well hidden and we're actually going to unlock a totally optional sneaky bonus skill from this uh, and i adore this kind of uh design i adore this gameplay so a lot of you so well quite a few people over the years have asked me you know when i end my videos there's that music that plays for my end slate Quite a few people have asked me, uh, hey WP, what is that music? And I nearly always respond in the comments and tell people and point them to it. But it's from uh, an old game I played when I was much younger, uh, a game called Little Big Adventure 2. And that game is like, I, I don't necessarily think it's an amazing, amazing game, but it is the, I call it my ultimate nostalgia bomb, right? It is the game I have the most like childlike awe and wonder and warm fuzzy feelings to, beyond any, by a really long way. Like if you listen to that soundtrack, well sorry, if I listen to that soundtrack, I close my eyes, it, t it transports me back to when I was like nine or 10 and playing this game. Really, really love this game. Um, and uh, one of the things in that, was essentially what you're seeing going on here with Super Adventure Box, where there was a hidden like quest, a hidden side objective that you could go off to that would give you a super powerful spell that most people who played that game would always miss. I think it was an invincibility spell, actually. Um, and it's something similar here. There's a really big hidden thing, but the only way to ever get the elite skill in Super Adventure Box is to come here. All right, so now we're really high up. And do you remember that shop, that platform I talked about? Like, how do you ever get there? Well, now you can see, right? There is only one way to get hit, get there. And look, 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 it even tries to trick you. You think you come to the top and it tries to trick you to walk off over here. Don't walk over here. From the very top here, you're going to do a massive, enormous leap of faith down to this platform, which you only spied probably if you were on the high road before and through all of that you can find this this room which is like super out of the way and it's really special actually and so what do we have we have a villager and he says hello i live in this place it's cozy have this and in the middle of the room we've got a scroll which we walk up to we interact with there was no sound effect there i thought there was gonna be we interact with and we get moto's breath Moto appears in the sky to blow your foes away. Wow. And so, yeah, we actually get this here. Summon Moto's head to blow foes, nearby foes back. This is not the only elite, right? Where you can essentially upgrade this. All of these different things you're looking at, you can upgrade later. Um, but this is like the, the first one, really. So, Moto's breath. Okay, so we got that. Um, there is no double secret here or anything. I guess that when the furniture shops got added, the devs anticipated people might think that they'd do a double shop at this ultimate, like, hidden room. So then they didn't do it there because it would be too easy. It would be what you'd expect, right? So they didn't. And I kind of like that. There's a key down there, so I'm going to grab that. And there you have it. That's a really, really, really big secret. And, uh, yeah, it, it reminds me of LBA, like, and I think that, that really stands as a testament to SAB. SAB tries to do things very old school and nod and reference and have fun with old school. And, uh, you know, that's what it puts me in mind of. Everyone's obviously played a different selection of games when they were younger. And, uh, if this gets you to think about any of them, um, fondly, or maybe even not so fondly, if it gets you to think about any of them, I think it's done its job very well. Uh, and yeah, it certainly did in my case. Right, we're right near the end of the level now, guys. <clears throat> No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, no! Oh! <laughs> no, we were doing so well. Ah, we are right near the end of the level. I'll see you in a second. Oh, look, we can finally do this properly. Look, huzzah. No, not properly. Ah, the baubles, the bauble ruined it for me there. Alright, I guess we're in kind of a new place now because we never saw this angle before. Look, that's the shop we were trying to get to. That's the final checkpoint and the final boss just beyond, guys. Alright, the key we want to use for this chest up here. The key is now down on the floor, though. So, that's kind of annoying. We'll have to find a way to climb back up. So, let's just drop down. This, this Oh, what? How is that even possible? Come on, man. He attacked so quick. Alright, so... 
I'm not going to go to that checkpoint just yet. Let's grab the key off of the top of the alligator. Let's go into the shop. And so this is the last shop of World 1 here. And uh, we get a cool upgrade that's going to be very, very important and useful in World 2 as things start getting a little bit more dangerous. Uh, so the shopkeeper says, at last, I'm eager for your business. And we have 225 baubles. And here on the left, you'll notice he's got another new item. If we look at it, look at that. I can't believe this has worked out so perfectly. Look, look at that. I, I, that's actually insane. Uh, flings stones, requires ammo, the slingshot. Are you sure you want to buy this item? Hell yes, I am. So, the slingshot. The sling... And we're down to zero baubles, so let's uh, break some stuff. The slingshot, guys is much like the bomb in the you press the skill to equip it and then once you've got it you get an ability here now unlike the bomb which you can either place or throw the slingshot you can only fire you can't like place a uh, a bauble from the slingshot or whatever at your feet that doesn't mean anything but basically it's a very rapid firing weapon that is also good for ranged damage i'll show you what it looks like here um so here we'll drop the key Equip the slingshot, and uh, yeah, we can aim. If I aim over there at the uh, alligator, I can fire little bobbles like so, and um, and we can do damage from far away. Now that just like bombs, it costs one bobble to do each time. So all those baubles that we just collected from that guy's shop, I've just thrown them all away now. Let's kill this guy. I've just thrown them all away. So now we get another one for killing the the guy. Um. But the slingshot is really good. The sling, while the bombs move very slowly and have a bit of an arc to them and, a, you know, generally a bit fiddly, you've seen me miss them a few times already. While that's true of the bombs, the slingshots move very fast, very direct, and uh, for that reason, they're not nearly always going to be your go-to choice for actually hitting things from far away, if, if that's what you're aiming to do. We're trying to climb back up right now, by the way. So we're, we're backtracking just a little bit because I want to use this key. Uh, so yeah, it's very, very good for that. But also, um, beyond just the ranged aspect, it's actually the fastest hitting thing in the entire game. And uh, that kind of has a special interaction with the next boss, uh, which I'll talk to you about in a second. We really have to go really far back here. So yeah, I'll just speed it up until we get high up again and uh, to the end of the level so we can use this, this key. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, voila, there we go. We get to use the chest, get double baubles. That's a ton of ammo for us. Maybe not enough ammo? <gasps> you, oh, these monkeys are so annoying. It's okay though, because this is like literally the last monkey. We move away from the trees in a second. This is it, the monkeys are done now, okay? Um, as we move out of the kingdom of fungus. Uh, let's drop down. Now here's the last question. Did I forget anything? We haven't dug anything up or bombed anything for a while, but I think we have had a lot of secrets in very fast succession. So I don't think I should have. I think we're good. All right, so here we go. Last checkpoint, you get these flaming mushrooms here, by the way. I don't know if you saw. And we have the King Toad. So here's Betty Bubble. I already found all of the baubles. Why haven't you, she says. God, I'm liking her less and less each time we meet her. Okay, so check it out. You got a ton of toads. You can actually kill these toads, by the way. I don't know whether the, we have the range right now. You can actually, like, in special ways. Not all of them, but yeah, there's loads of toads around. Um, and down there, you see there's a ton of lily pads. Proper good boss fight area. Again, it reminds me of Pandemonium, actually. <laughs> I wonder if that really was a direct inspiration, because it's got the cloud thing, there's the mushroom kingdom. There's a lot of little things like that. Anyway, so we're going to jump down, and we're going to see what we're faced with. So obviously, we know that standing out here is going to be difficult. We can leap, leapfrog around, and oh my gods! It's the King Toad. And he says, I'm King Toad. Now you will croak. And so here he opens his mouth and he sucks and sucks and sucks. And if you don't do anything, he lashes his tongue around and he does big damage. So that's one of his abilities. Here's another one. He does these shock waves by jumping up. Here's another ability. I, I'm chugging so many potions here. We're already out of potions. Uh, he raises one leg up. If he raises the left leg, leg he's going to slam it. So uh, he slams that leg. And then here, look, he's charging again. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide over here. Oh, no, he hits us no matter where we are with that. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, he does that. He's got the big uh, stomp. I think he's doing a left stomp there. There you go. So he does that. 
And then he does this. So how do we... How, oh, there you go. That's a double, right? So we're going to hide back on this rock here for a second to avoid that. So basically, the idea is jump on the left lily pad, jump on the right lily pad, and do what you can to avoid him. So here... How do we avoid this without a perfect dodge? Let's try it. There you go. Perfect dodge. Lovely. That used to be really good for daily dodger as well, by the way. Um, so if we attack him, you'll see he's got this amulet. We're going to dodge to the left there as well. Uh, and when we attack the amulet, uh, the, we can't actually do any damage to him, but we can get these jewel shards. We're going to dodge that side. Um, and here you get, so you see we get a skill called throw. He's doing a double slam. We've got to hide over here. So with the shard, next time he opens his mouth for the big tongue attack. There, here it is. We're going to target him and throw the shard in his mouth. And by throwing the shard in his mouth, we're going to knock him out. And we're going to enable ourselves to be able to do damage. So here I'm just attacking with my stick as fast as possible. And we do this damage to him. So we, we got about, uh, what, one third of his health done there. So we get one evade. He's unlikely to do two in a row. So we'll come over here. Um, so you saw how we did a bit of damage there. Now remember, we did just get... Oh god, no, no, wrong one. Throw, 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 throw. We gotta do this quick. Did we get it in time? Yeah. Uh, so we are, we can only get this amount of damage, but the shop just before this gave us the slingshot. And interestingly enough, guys, if you choose to spend the baubles on it, and you go for the slingshot with dodge... I might have got myself killed there. No, that's fine. If you use the slingshot, you attack so fast, you can act... I think, I think I've seen a speedrun of this. You can kill him in one burn. Which is pretty goddamn good. Oh, all right. We're going to get our shard. I might have done this way too late here. Let's see. No, I, I, I messed it up. It's okay. We get the dodge though. All right. So we've got to remember to attack him to actually get a shard. Oh, no. There's not any shards left. Okay. That's fine. Oh, if we beat him without dying, I'll be really happy. He's not doing the double. Oh, no. I don't have any endurance. No. Not enough energy. Oh, right at the end. So close. Uh, if I wasn't doing commentary and trying to explain every little thing, this is honestly such a simple fight. Alright, so he went back down. He hid. Uh, he didn't fully reset his health, did he? That's not how that works, is it? Does he fully reset his health? Oh my god, he did! He fully reset! Alright, fine. So there you go. That's how it works. And now I'll show you how to beat it expertly. I will see you all in a moment. I'm not going to spend the currency either because we're going to want it for more upgrades later. So there you go. This is the third burn now, and we should be able to kill him in this. I did get hit right there at the end because I just sort of YOLO'd forwards, but that was that would have been very easy to not take any damage. And there you go! Ta-da! King Toad defeat from the Kingdom of Fungus. And what do we see here? First, you get a glorious chest for beating the level with two more bauble bubbles. That's 500 bubbles, right? We get continue coin, and in his crown that sunk in the grounds, we get a heart. So a health vessel gives us an extra heart. So we now have four HP. And the response, once again, is just a generic wow. <laughs> so there you go, four HP. If we had more potions, we could chunk those and use those now. I didn't even use the elite, by the way. The elite might have been fun to show on the boss, but it's, it's uh, we can use that in a second, actually. Oh, maybe, I don't know, blow nearby foes back. It's a knockback, right? I don't know. I'll definitely show you that animation as we go through World 2 at least. But there you go, guys. That is actually the end, if we have a look at our map now, of World 1. That's the hub. That's the sunny glade. That's the spooky forest, I think it was. And that's the kingdom of fungus. We now move on to this waterfall zone. However, once you beat a big boss, you do get one extra cool thing. It's a bonus. So we'll have a bonus level. Our glorious victory has left us exuberant and rambunctious. Let us destroy that cart. So this is, again, a reference to uh, some old school gaming. This is a reference to Street Fighter 2. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. But there was a bonus stage in that where you would have to... Uh, it, was a, it was a fighter, right? So you'd have to, like, beat up a car, I think it is. I'll try an image on the screen. Literally, I think it was a bonus stage of beating up a car. And so here on this bonus uh, round here, we have a minecart here. Which is actually a really cool model. Look at this. And we can just attack it like mad to collect as many baubles as possible. Now, baubles do despawn. So it's like trying to find the right balance of hitting the car. And we only get a certain amount of seconds. So we've got 15 seconds here. You've got to hit the car enough 
to be able to get as many baubles as possible and like figure out exactly where it is. So seven seconds. There's also some other little areas here as we've climbed high. You see we came from there and the thing falls down. Look, that's the forest back there. And the idea is we're going to keep climbing up now and we're going to go uh, off into the distance. And the villager says, oh man, my cart. I only had six more payments on it. <laughs> and we kind of just beat the head out of it. So sorry about that, dude. And once again, we get another bauble bubble. So another 250. Or you can use that, obviously, as currency for whatever else you like. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That's that's World 1, basically. Um, looking pretty good. We, we actually have got so much currency, it's ridiculous. We're already back up to 150 now. And uh, that, what you've just watched there, was pretty much the bulk of the main stuff the first time the festival was released, okay? Um, and so then it returned a little bit later with what they called a Super Adventure Box Back to School. That's when Tribulation Mode was added, and that's where World 2 was added. So that is this cabin here. Once again, we get a choice, Infantile, Normal, or Tribulation. And you can join me next time, guys, for uh, the second set of zones. Uh, starting here with, do you hear the sound of rushing rapids? This is actually my favorite level in all of SAB. I think it is freaking gorgeous and it does so many cool things. So cheers guys, hope you enjoyed. And we'll be back for our big long playthrough and clear of SAB very soon. Oh, see, look, what was I talking about? This is exactly what I thought was going to happen, but I caught it. I've caught it before uh, it's too late. Now, I've just finished recording the video, but I remember there is one final chest on this level. One final chest. The only way to get it is as you trick, and this is definitely the hardest dig spot of the entire first world. As you trigger the final checkpoint and you get the bounce into the sky, this is your only chance. It has to be the first time you hit the checkpoint. When you bounce into the sky, you need to land on a rock to the top left. Extremely precise, as you can see here, okay? And from there, then you need to do some extremely janky, weird banana jumps and clinging to the very edges of these tiny, thin, insignificant little uh, pieces of terrain on the side of the boss chamber itself. All the while moving closer to the toads in the, the outer area of the circle, right? Uh, and you're going to keep winding your way along, as you can see I'm doing here. And the goal, you might see it just slightly off the side, it is that platform over there. So if you can just sort of jankily get your way along, you can land here. And there is a dig spot. You get a ton of baubles from this one, which is great. But uh, do it quickly, because as you can see, you do get hit by the toads nearby and they throw you into the boss room itself. So yeah, that's the last chest of the world. And man, it's a difficult one too. But yeah, there you go. That's the, that's the one.